Alright guys, there's some good news and there's some bad news. The good news is we've managed to beat Chelsea and Arsenal both 1-0 without conceding any goals. The bad news is I'm a fucking idiot. I deleted the videos and I'm feeling sick as fuck right now but still going to try and get through this episode. So there you can see previously we beat Liverpool 1-0 and then in the next match we beat Chelsea 1-0 and then we beat Arsenal 1-0. So great results but sadly I already saved the video as project but deleted the actual video so I don't have anything to show you really but I'll show you the league table. Now this is not after the Chelsea, uh, Chelsea and Arsenal game because I have played an extra game in the league so there you can see that's based on that after 26 games played we're sitting in 4th place and we're only what 6 points off Liverpool that's not bad at all and you can see the top goal scorers in the league we've got Lukaku there top followed by Crystal Palace's Shamak and Spurs's Dumbia both in 2nd place with 9 goals apiece but he has been a great season for Lukaku but sadly he's the only guy that's been banging in the scores goals for us really and you can see you go down there's no more Everton players on the list now you can see Shama, he's got the, the second most goals in the league and he's got the most assists. So he's having a great season for Crystal Palace. It's uh, Samuel Eto, who's not having a good season for us, that's for sure, sitting there with four assists. Phil Jagielka, also another Everton player, tops the list. Not necessarily a list that we'd want to top, to be honest, but whatever, man. He's on seven yellow cards, joint with Pochettino and a bunch of other guys. And there's, the red cards, no surprise to see Hothead Hifanovic leading the way there with two red cards. And then you can see just some stats for Champions League rivals. You can see Arsenal there, Giroud, six goals and 15 appearances, not bad. Danny Welbeck with four goals and 20, that's not great now, is it? And maybe that's why Arsenal struggle, not a lot of goals coming in from their end. Then you can see for us, Lukaku, 12 goals in 24 games, it's two goals. It's a goal every two games, but Look at that man, Sam Eto'o, 28 appearances made and only one goal, absolutely shocking, just not good enough. And our rivals Liverpool, no one really leading the way for them, just it's been a, basically the goals, they're all sharing the goals really, Barini, Balotelli, Lallana, Gerrard, Lampard and Sturridge all doing their part and contributing to their good season that they're having it. And there's an the overall record for this season, biggest defeat was 3-1 against Liverpool. Sad day in our Everton career, but we managed to beat Bad for three, which is pretty good. And 36 games played, and we've won 17 of them, so we've won almost 50%. Scored 43 and conceded 33, so it's less than a goal a game. That's pretty good. But yeah, it's going to be it for this episode. Sorry about the shit episode. Just delete everything. Feeling like shit, and that's about it. <laughs> Till next time, peace.